All right, everyone, I'm bringing you another product release of sorts, a small haul, not really a haul, really just one thing that I purchased that I'm very excited about, and it's the Ink Fit Neon Collection from Fiote, and they are more alcoholics, and I'm very excited about it. So welcome back to Nails by Sora. I hope you're all doing well, and we're going to get into this unboxing quickly. And then I'm going to take you through some swatching and see what they look like. So first and foremost, we're going to open up the main box set. And as most collections do, it comes with a card for you to attach swatches to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch all the colors. Sorry, my cat is playing with the door stopper. Um, I'm going to swatch all the colors on um, nail tips and I'm going to secure them to the card so I can display it to myself in my studio because there's no one else that's looking at it, just me. And we're going to take this off now in complete transparency. I have already looked at them and they are gorgeous and I'm so excited about it but I want to keep them in their stand so I'm going to just no drop it on the floor and hopefully not break the jar <sighs> it wouldn't be a nail video if I didn't drop something on the floor let's just put that back in here okay so this is how it comes in this cute little um, I guess cardboard. I don't know if it's supposed to be displayed in this. Usually it comes with a little display stand, but I guess it could be. I do have shelves above me on either side. Um, so I will probably put them up there because otherwise there's no other place to really put these. But we've got some beautiful, beautiful colors. And they do have to be shaken up a bit, I think. I'm not really sure. I don't know if this is a design on the inside of the bottle. I imagine so, um, because they're all kind of like that, where they have like the scratched effect on them. And of course, it's a Korean brand, so everything is in a language that I don't understand. But we've got two different, well, I guess the first one, this one is a red-ish. And that's a pink. We've got orange. Yellow. Green. More of a turquoise green. Blue. Purple. And the pink. So these are the two, four, six, eight colors. And then it also comes with a white in a separate box. And then this is the dispersion liquid. Now, when I opened it up initially when I got it, it just smells like isopropyl alcohol, which I'm assuming that's what it is since they're alcohol inks. I don't know what the difference would be. Usually when I do my alcohol ink nails, which if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm very happy to have you back. If you're new, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button and like this video. Uh, leave a comment down below if you so wish and give me a thumbs up because I'd really appreciate it. But as I, as I was saying, usually I just use acetone because that seems to move the inks around the nail a little bit better than just alcohol. Um, the colors themselves are dispersed in alcohol. That's the method of transfer to the nail. Um, but I've always seen online in other videos and I've learned myself that acetone really works best for creating designs on the nails. So this is the collection. I'm going to go ahead and move these aside so that we can get into swatching and I will be right back. All right, so I've got my stands ready and basically what I've done is I've gone and clear coated 
I've tipped them in white so that we can get a clear idea of what the colors look like on a an opaque background. And then I matte top coated everything because you really want a matte or buffed surface to work with. Otherwise the colors will sit on top of the nail. They're not going to soak in. And then when you go and top coat over them, they're just gonna bleed across the surface of the nail. So we're gonna start in order and go with the reddish pink. I am going to shake it a little bit. I've got a little jar, my dab and dish of acetone, but I am going to use this liquid to see what the difference is. And we're gonna see what we can do. I'm just gonna actually take one nail at a time and just run it over the nail. Now each nail is going to be a separate color. I'm not going to really work on designs. I will be doing a manicure with it coming up, but right now I just want to focus on each individual color. So now I'm taking the liquid and dropping some on. Now what concerns me is this brush being a communal brush that it's going to stain, but it does seem to wipe off quite easily. I'm wondering if maybe this is acetone. Okay, I dipped it in alcohol to clean it completely. And this seems to work just fine. I just, I don't wanna dip it back into the jar and run the risk of contaminating it with other colors. So I think I'd be less likely to use it and just go with my usual method. So with alcohol inks, you also really want to make sure you use either white or a very pale uh, color as your background, because if you use a dark background, you're not really going to see the color too well. And I'm already loving these colors. Not only the colors, but the consistency and the opacity. I've used a couple of other brands in the past, and while I haven't really had any problems with them per se, I guess the selection of colors is kind of lackluster, or at least the ones that I have. I haven't really seen these brights before, so that's really fun to deal with or play with. And also, the payoff seems to be a little bit better. All right, I'm just gonna let this one sit now and dry out and I'm gonna move on to next color. Make sure you close that up so that I don't knock it over. As I say in almost every video, if I can knock it over, I will knock it over. I'm not going to bother with the white in this video because white is white. Um, I'll play with it in another video. Let's see. So you can also dab alcohol on and then dab the color on top of it. Or acetone, rather. All right, so that's the orange. I'm 
Moving on to the yellow. I'm going to put some acetone on the nail first. could also, if you wanted to, take your brush and dip directly into it. That way you can work with specific size brushes and make your designs a little bit more detailed. I love these caps. It's worth saying they're almost like a rubberized texture so you can get a really good grip on it. Moving on to the blue. Let's see. Don't know that that actually did anything, but it's fun to play. See, you can go in and take out little portions and really do nice marbling effects. Now on to the last color, pink. These are gonna be gorgeous for pride nails. I'm gonna to have to come up with something because I do have a pride mani slated and I'm not really sure what I wanna do yet. I'm just gonna polish the whole nail on this one. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm really pushing the color by bleeding the acetone up into certain areas. It pushes the color and you can create really nice veining. And then if you were to layer colors on top of it, 
you can create really great depth. So what I would do once I'm happy with a layer is I would go over it with another base coat and matte, and then I would put another color on top. All right, so that's all of the colors. Now we're gonna go through and finish the nail off. Nails, nails. Now you still wanna make sure that when you're going in with your gel, if I can find my gel, oh, right in front of me, that you're not scrubbing the gel down the nail. You really wanna float it because you still have areas of richer color that can bleed and you wanna to try to keep the integrity of the nail or the color rather. So I'm going to take a good amount of base coat and I'm going to float it down the nail. And now I'm gonna cure that. I'm gonna go through and do every nail the same way and I will meet you back here. All right, so this is the finished collection. Um, not too happy with my double stick tape. It seems to stick to everything but what you want it to stick to. And I don't like that you can see it on either edge, but that's neither here nor there. This is just so that we can see how the colors look and perform. And I absolutely love them. I mean, I can't wait to work with them. You know, the uh, true test of them will be when I try to create a nail set from them. This was just for swatching purposes, but I do love them and I can't wait to work with them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me. Again, this is the entire collection. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section below. I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. All the information on this product will be in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.